What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Monday now, so I know that WrestleMania just finished. I followed it all the way up to, I guess last week really, where The Rock basically bloodied and battered Cody Rhodes. Yeah, I think that's where I am now. Just to give my quick thoughts on the current WrestleMania, I think The Rock coming back has always been epic. But I think what made this one special is the fact that they had a plan and the fans didn't like it. So I think initially The Rock was meant to just come in and face Roman Reigns and that was it. But people wanted Cody Rhodes. And I think what made this so good, I, I don't know if this is true though, but I think it's, I think it is. Uh, well, it's YouTube. But basically what happened was the fans got upset that The Rock was coming in to face Roman Reigns. Everybody wanted Cody Rhodes. So instead of like kind of just pushing and leaning into what they've already planned, The Rock pitched a new idea, which was for him to become Hollywood Rock, Evil Rock basically, and also incorporate Cody into the story. So it's been very interesting to watch it from week to week because every week I think The Rock is gonna like betray Roman. Like, I think that's what everybody's expecting. Or, or is it just me? It just looks like it's going to betray uh, Roman Reigns. That's what it looks like. Which means they'll probably still get their Roman Reigns versus The Rock anyway. But I don't know how they're going to treat Cody Rhodes. I think Cody Rhodes should win, technically. Because I think no matter how much I do like Roman, and I, I, I love Roman, not from initial, I think I was one of the people who thought he's just going to be another John Cena. But since he had like the whole cancer issue, is it cancer? No, leukemia. I think it's leukemia. Kind of warmed up to him. And I think that's the same for everyone in the WWE universe. We didn't like Roman, but we, we grew to like him. But that whole 1,300 and something rain needs to stop. <laughs> that's my only thing. It, it, it needs to stop. I just want to basically react to see on the highlights. I'm not sure if YouTube is going to copyright me, but I'll do my best to edit it well. Let's see how it goes. So what I want to do, I want to watch night one see what happens. Anyway guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Leave a like, comment and sub. Let's go.
All right, guys. So I think from what I can tell, bloodline rules basically means the rock and the other bloodline members will be there. So which means Cody Rhodes and wait, is it Cody Rhodes and Seth? No, it's not a tag team match. So it's just Cody versus Roman, but with bloodline rules, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, I didn't. I, I actually thought Cody was going to win this one, and then Roman win the other. Well, not Roman win the other one. So I'm expecting the betrayal to happen at some point in the next match. But guys, I was going to react to both of them here, but I'm going to make it another video because the video was quite long. I loaded it up thinking it was like a short highlight thing but it ended up being longer than i thought it would be let me know what you think about the match were you there how was it was it a lot more hype than what we are getting to see because it's always better to be there anyway how was the match was it entertaining was it good how are you guys finding hollywood rock what do you guys think of roman reign what was the point of seth i don't it doesn't look like seth rollins made an impact in that match that might be on purpose might be on purpose because it is Cody's story as we all know what do you think is going to happen you know are you with me do you think that the rock is going to betray roman reigns then pivot into the roman reigns versus the rock plan anyway or do you think that the rock is basically going to remain bloodline or do you think that cody is going to win or do you think roman will continue his title reign he must have beaten some form of record by now i think i remember Back in my day, you know, when they were doing 700 something days, 500 something days. Um, I think I vividly remember 900 and something days. I can't remember who did it. Was it, I think it was like a hardcore champion thing or whatever in WCW. So he's at 1000 something. So he's definitely probably broken some form of record. The belt that we saw on The Rock, it's not a championship belt. It's a award belt. Is it an award? commemoration maybe belt just to kind of say that you know this is your people's champion belt which means technically he can carry this around anytime now because he is the people's champion everyone accepts him as the people champion anyway guys this is going to be good i'm going to react to the second part i don't want to be late to it so i want to react to it check out my next video guys thank you for watching my videos i'll see you in the next one